What is going on, guys? Welcome back. It's Will Blender. Today, believe it or not, I'm on my way to the dispensary to get me some smoke. Now, this is going to go lead into Uber delivering marijuana. Just bear with me. Recently in my state, I think they, I believe they passed the law, which doesn't kick in till next year, 2023, where everybody can recreational smoke marijuana legally. Right now, it's only medical in Connecticut. So what that means is you get pulled over with a small amount. Yeah, you're, you're not going to go to jail. Um, but over obviously a certain amount, it could be considered still a crime, uh, unless you have a medical marijuana car and you're transporting your medical marijuana home, you'll be fine until next year. So what I gotta do is travel across state lines and go over to Massachusetts, which illegally allow recreational for me to purchase it in the store but I, there's some confusion maybe you guys get me in the comments let me know about whether or not transporting it back to connecticut is considered a crime it may or may not be i'll be honest with you um i might be admitting to a crime here right online but i'm not too much worried about it what i'm going to do is apply for the connecticut marijuana card not very hard to obtain um you don't really have to have any major medical things wrong with you. Um, back pain, it helps with your headaches, help you sleep. Uh, most doctors will approve it. And then you could pick up medical marijuana here in a lot of places which are close to me. So I'm gonna get the medical marijuana card um, just so I could do everything where I don't have to go across to mass. And I could literally pick it up, I think like 15 minutes away from me guys legally pick it up and not pay taxes on it which right now i can go over the mask but i believe i'm paying taxes on it um what what does that have to do with uber well uber recently i read a story where uber is transporting marijuana and they're starting in canada they're already doing this like uber's trying to they're in so much chaos in the courts and all that, but at the same time, they're trying to take over. Um, which I gotta give them credit because they're ruthless. Uber is ruthless, even more so than Lyft. So they're trying to deliver marijuana. So I was came up with the idea that uh, pretty soon there's gonna be medical marijuana delivery services where you don't even need to leave the house. It's gonna be like alcohol. And you literally can have a Uber driver deliver your marijuana. Um, I don't know how that's going to play out is whether or not drivers do something crazy, like take your packages or your packages turn up missing. I don't know. But I do know with Uber deliveries now, I believe you could transport stuff, illegal substances, and probably get away with it just doing the Uber deliveries, I'm not mistaken. Um, I did hear another story where a guy, a driver found out that he was transporting something illegal, some illegal substance, and he did go to the police with it to cover his ass, which was really smart. I don't think most drivers would have bothered. They would have just took it because the person transporting it wouldn't have reported it. But this guy was honest and he took it to the nearest police station um, let me know what you think about that. And um, I guess he just wanted to be safe for himself. But pretty soon, I believe there's going to be small mom and pop situations that you could have a driver, let's say you're a smoke shop, and you, know, you now you can legally transport marijuana. That's another opportunity for drivers to transport something else. Because Americans are lazy. Even though we're in a recession, people will spend money for convenience. Especially people with money. 
So I know that this is going to be a big thing eventually. Like I said, they're supposedly trying it out in Canada. Um, I'm sure we'll see how that do in the next year or two. But I, I suspect by next year, there'll be some type of delivery service transporting marijuana right to your door. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uber transporting uh, weed is, I, I think he, they're really trying to take over everything. It's crazy. But let me go get my marijuana. And I will see you guys later. Um, I got some people I got to call later today that set up appointments. If you're one of those people, be patient. I'm going to get to you as soon as I can. Um, if you do want to set up a strategy session, hit me in the description box, $47 one time. Unless you already purchased or signed up for NWR or my software business, you don't pay anything for strategy sessions. It's free. You just got to email me and set up a time and, and uh, when we could do it. Eastern Standard for me. So translate your time zone to mine and figure out when you're going to call me. Thank you for your time. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.